Hey, welcome back. So we want to see how we can actually change a quantity here. And that is rather easy because we already have the code to do that. So we have a controller called add to cart, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So here the add to quantity says there's a function called add quantity and there it is, right? Mm -hmm. Add quantity. So one thing you could do is from here, you could simply redirect to add to cart here and put the required info to be able to activate this thing here. So that's one way to do it. It can be done. The only problem is uh, when this is done, it won't return any JSON data. So it becomes difficult to know what was going on. So instead we'll just, uh, we don't need to set a redirect. We can just copy the data that is here. Simple and straightforward. So come here and right here, paste that data. So ID is equal to escape the obj id so let's just copy obj here copy id yes what else do we need we need the quantity itself yes so i will uh, this one simply adds one to the quantity but we we have an actual quantity here so i will uh, do that uh, quantity like this so quantity quantity id id okay so we have an id and we have a quantity so we check if this is set that way we don't uh, do something that uh, doesn't exist we, do, we don't try to edit something that does not exist and then we go through that and then if we say id is equal to id item id is equal to item id then that's the one we're looking for and then what do we do the cart quantity will be equal to the quantity. Yes. Now quantity is an integer, so let's just cast it as an integer like that, just to be sure, right? Okay, so um, pretty good. Then after that, we add the data type and then we echo it out. Now, instead of print R, we can simply echo because uh, when we encode an object, it becomes a string. So we don't need to bring out all the big guns with printer. We can just use echo. I think this should do it. Uh, that, that does it, actually. So refresh, and let's see this in action. So let me change this to 12. And it refreshes, and it's 12. Yeah? Let me try uh, 8. Yes, refresh and 8. Now, if you hate the way it's refreshing like this, then you have to uh, get this data because we have this data here that's coming back. We have the ID, we have the quantity, and so on. So you can grab the items here and edit them. So uh, if you want me to do it that way and you want to see that version, uh, you, you can leave a comment. If this is good enough for you, then uh, we can move on. All right. So... This is the part where we change and we can do the same thing with the delete button here, right? So we can do the same delete process and come back here. So let's do that real, real quick. So that will be easy to do because all we need to do here, let's come back to, all we need to do is use the similar method and duplicate that like so, and then change this to uh, delete underscore item delete item and data is right there so same process here right i will get this put it there because i still need to change my data to json anyway and then i will probably need the id because this will require an id of course and what else then i will need to change the data type and return the original data just in case we need to use it on the flip side so here it will be delete item and copy and uh, paste yeah but then we need the logic to delete and luckily we have it in add to cart 
So this one, we called it remove. So all we need here is just this part, copy, and then we'll paste it right here. So now if you are seeing this, you are realizing that we're repeating ourselves. There's code here for deleting, and then there's code here for deleting as well in a different, um, so this is a repeat. Now, to avoid this repeat, what you could do is you can go to core inside uh, functions and create specific functions here. And then when you come here, you just call the function here and then you call the function. Uh, where is that? Yeah, you call the function here. Oh, it replaced the, oh my God. So let me go back to add to cart here. Uh, I think again, it has replaced it. Sublime text there. So you can, instead of typing this here, you can just uh, add the function where you supply what it needs, like the session data and whatever items are required, maybe the ID and so on. The beauty of doing it that way is that if you made a mistake or you want to change something, you can just go to the functions.php and change it from there. But like this, you would have to change it in add to cart and then change it also in Ajax cart like this. So that is not very good practice. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we will leave it like this just to uh, speed things along. But uh, I'm telling you that this is not good practice. Anyway, so here where we delete item, we go into here, check if the item is correct, then unset it, and then uh, array values just to clean up the array and back. So this is all we need to do here, nothing more. So um, if I come back here, uh, cart.php, and it's under result. So We'll do the same here, duplicate, else, like so. So if it's a delete item, maybe, delete underscore item. All we need to do is that. Now, the reason I'm just not putting this window dot refresh is because sometimes, depending on what you're doing, you may not want to refresh. But it seems in our case, every time we are doing the same thing. So. We might as well remove these guys and just put refresh there. Who knows? Let's see where this goes. And then the second thing is we need a function to actually do, do the sending of data. So I will duplicate this one. So this one is the edit. And let's just say delete item here. Delete item. And we don't need anything else but the ID. That's all we need. And we can remove this value there we don't need that and send data we don't need the quantity we just need the id and then here delete item of course and that's it but we need to be able to call this function not so so let's go up 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 where is the delete this one right here so we'll put this on the click event when someone clicks on this so we say on click do that yes but let's get the id so how exactly do we get the id well the id is in here right but we can have a an attribute that we will add here now you can call these attributes data that's the normal convention uh, data id something like this is equal to but i don't know i don't like that so i'll just say um i'll just give it an idea there's the id or let's be more specific instead of using an existing id thing so we just say delete underscore id yes like this is equal to and then we will put the id the raw id in there so we just need to get this uh, attribute and it will give us our value so delete id yes now we just delete item we find the function here and then uh, actually let's go back a minute here let's go back again so all i want here i don't want to start looking for that item and say get element by id just to get the id i want the id right here by the time i'm doing this so there is a way fear not so the id is in here yes mm -hmm. but 
here when we are calling the function we can grab it from there very possible so as long as we know what the attribute name is so all i can say is i will say something like uh, Yes, I will say this dot, mm -hmm. uh, this dot uh, get attribute, like this, get attribute, what attribute do you want to get? Well, it's called delete ID, yeah? And that's it, so this dot get attribute delete ID. So whatever value is in here will be sent here, and that will probably be the ID itself. That's all we need to do, actually. So let's come back here and do that. Ooh, we have an error. So the href is showing here, which means again, we have an unwanted bracket somewhere. Ah, oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. So let's refresh. Yes, yes. Now I can click on delete. Yes, boom, and it's gone. Yeah, like magic. So let's come back to products. Let's add another product here. Bam, delete, it's gone. But when we delete something here, we need at least to show that uh, no items were found it would be nice. So let's do that real, real quick in cart.php where there's an if statement here. And for each and if right about, yeah. If for some reason we don't have anything, let's duplicate that and let's put else here full colon of course and then let's put a div i don't know if a div will work here but uh, no items were found in the cart let's see how that presents itself yeah it presents itself at the top they are not part of the table but that's fine it's not really a big deal so let's add just a few styles here for example, the font size, we need the user to be able to see this. So 18 pixels looks like it's pretty good. Text align, um, let's try center. And let's add just a little bit of padding here so it doesn't, it's not so much on the edge. And uh, six pixels. That ought to do it. So let's, uh, yes, no items we have found in the cart. You don't say, man. Okay, so pretty good. All right, so looking good, I will see you in a video where we do something else.